Now that is a cool looking van, man. That thing would be pretty sick to convert out and live in. It's a little small, but still be cool. So today we are in Salt Lake City and we're gonna go camp on top of the mountains that you see there in the distance. There's a uh, two mile long dirt road that leads all the way to the top of those mountains and then there's a campsite at the top. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go head up there. And I just hope it's not too windy up there because it is pretty windy down here in the valley. But we'll see. All right, so this is the bottom of the dirt road. There's a big parking lot here where you can park your truck and then take an ATV up the trail. But we're gonna take the van and we're gonna drive it right up there and it's about 2.9 miles up to the top of the mountain on a uh, dirt road. So we're gonna head up there now. So the road actually starts paved, but then it turns into this for about two and a half miles all the way up a windy mountain road. So it's definitely a little bit scary going up there in this big of a van, especially since a lot of ATVs use this road. So a lot of the times they'll be speeding down it and I'm crawling up at like five miles an hour. So I don't want to get in their way as much as I can. And since I'm driving so slow, whenever I can, I'll let cars that are behind me pass like that. There's the van, and this is where I'm going to be camping tonight. Also, up here is a uh, popular shooting spot for people to bring their shotguns and their pistols and come shooting mm -hmm. in the valleys of this mountain. And there's, uh, and there's actually some people up here shooting right now, over there, shooting some shotguns, but they should all leave by the time the uh, sun goes down, so we should have this spot all to ourselves unless some other campers pull up. And once it gets a little bit darker, I'm going to set up my projector. So I just got this projector screen and this new projector and i'm gonna put up my awning right here and then i'm gonna hang the projector screen off of that and try to play some xbox uh on the side of this cliff that was them shooting their guns i gotta get these window shades up because even though we are up in the mountain it's still 99 degrees but it should be a little bit cooler tonight hopefully but i still want to get these up to hopefully help keep it a little bit cooler in the back of the van during the daytime Also on the way up here, I forgot to check my gas levels and I was basically running on E. I've got like 20 miles left, but I should be fine because the drive down is all downhill, so I won't burn too much fuel, but I burned a lot coming up here and I should have checked that before I left. All right, let's go set up camp. So I'll probably get my awning set up later and just hope it's not windy. It's not too windy right now, but uh, I don't know if it'll get windier this afternoon or tonight, because last night it did. So I'm just gonna hold off on setting that up. But yeah, basically the spot is just kind of on the side of the road. So there's like a campfire there, or there's a campfire over there, and there's a campfire right next to me. So I guess technically it's three spots, but it's just on the side of that road that we were driving up. It looks like people take their ATVs and kind of climb hills up right here. But it goes further, the road goes further up the mountain and around. And then people do a lot of paragliding and stuff up there, I think. There's also a lot of people dirt biking and constantly driving down the road. Like those guys. I think for now, though, I'm going to make some dinner. And uh, tonight I'm having ramen. So I was actually sent this ramen by a company uh, to try out and make a video on. And I think tonight I'm going to try the black garlic chicken flavored. So hopefully it's good. Boil two cups of water, add ramen, cook for seven minutes. Easy enough. There we go. There she goes.
Cheers. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's like people shooting all up and down this mountain. Just constantly hearing pops all over the place. <clears throat> I also got up here pretty early, so I think I'm just going to hang on the van for a little bit. Wait for the sun to set and then uh, go see if I can set up that awning in the uh, projector screen in about two hours. So I will, uh, I'll check in with you guys then. Excuse me, you shot up an untested drug from Vaughn. Such a good show. Now we got a projector screen. It's all set up, it's not too windy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm thoroughly surprised how easy that went up and how good it's staying. But now we just gotta wait for it to get dark. Once it gets a little bit darker, I'll pull the Xbox out and then uh, we will plug everything in and see if it works and then uh, play some games. All right, it is 8.39. I think the sun has set enough. Um, and even if it hasn't, it's behind a bunch of clouds that should probably cover it at least until it does set. So let's get everything set up. First thing I gotta grab my Xbox, which is down under my desk in here. It's Velcro to the wall. Damn, it's really stuck on there. Man, that's some super duty Velcro. And I think we just need the power cord because I think the projector came with an HDMI. Okay, we got the Xbox. So we'll set the Xbox down to the power station and plug it in there. Okay. All right, let's get everything turned on. All right. I can see the Xbox, but I think it's still a little bit too light out. I'll see if I can go up close and show you. So you can kind of see the outline of like the Apex game box and then the Microsoft Store and a bunch of other stuff, but still too light out, so we're going to have to wait a little while. I am so excited. I have never wanted the sun to go down so much in my entire life. I cannot wait to play Xbox here tonight. I mean, this might very well be the coolest gaming setup in the history of gaming setups. Okay, so it's definitely dark enough now, so let's get everything turned on and see how it looks. Look at that. Is that not cool? I mean, the wind kind of messes with the, the quality or the clarity of it, but I mean, can't really complain. All right, let's see if I can get into a game and uh, connect actually from up here. It's actually pretty bright. I can see it pretty well. I don't know if it comes through on the, I mean, not when it's blowing forward like that. I don't know if it comes through on the, uh, on the camera well, but it's actually pretty clear. I don't know, it's actually kind of hard to play on this screen though. Because the wind keeps blowing it forward and back, so it keeps like going super out of focus. First game we catch a dub. All right, so it was fully successful. I played a couple games, absolutely no lag. I can see it pretty clearly. The only thing that's pretty bad is the wind. So I'm kind of worried it's gonna blow over eventually because the wind's getting kind of strong. But overall, very successful and very cool. And then there's even some fireworks in the distance. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but there's some fireworks over there in the distance. But now I gotta clean all this up before I go to bed. All right, so overall it was a pretty cool experience to be able to play video games at the top of a mountain. It wasn't the best gaming experience because it kept blowing in and out of focus, but still very cool nonetheless. But now I'm gonna go to bed and then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and it's on to the next one, so I will catch you guys next time.